Hey everybody and welcome back to another video here at Whiteboard Medicine. We appreciate you checking it out. Hopefully everyone is having a good day today. Uh, topic today is going to be human metonumovirus or HMPV. And really a quick hits on this. We are going to talk about the disease, um, but we wanted to bring it up because it's kind of all over the news as outbreaks in China, spreading in China, spreading elsewhere, should we be worried, new pandemic, all that kind of fear-mongering stuff. Uh, and what we wanted to talk about was actually what human metonumovirus is, where it is, what it causes, and if we should be worried about it. Um, so we're going to go into those things. We'll end with the situation in China. Um, hopefully, it will be valuable and provide some education and insights. Um, as a couple quick shout-outs, we have a whole bunch of videos on infectious disease on our page. If we pull up our page, oh, that's the pulmonology playlist. We uh, uh, got a whole bunch of videos on bird flu, norovirus, respiratory viral season. All this will link in this video's description. Check those out if you're interested. Uh, we also have a Patreon page that we update almost daily with uh, interesting medical news stories, medical education content, all that kind of stuff. There's both free membership and paid membership, so we'd love for you to consider joining the Whiteboard and Medicine Patreon page. No further ado, Quick 30 second break for the introduction, then we will dive into human metanumovirus. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody and welcome to Whiteboard Medicine. We appreciate you checking out the video. Here at Whiteboard Medicine, our goal is to create medical education content for all types of interested learners. That includes videos, practice questions, study resources, and much more. We would love for you to join our community by subscribing, hit that bell button. We're also working to build a high yield Patreon page. It's going to be full of practice questions, video outlines, notes, commercial free content, and much more. None of these videos are intended to be acted upon as medical advice. Please pause the video here and read this disclaimer its entirety before moving on. All right, thanks for sticking around. So human metanumovirus, also known as HMPV, is something that we've been seeing all over the news. We honestly just Googled human metanumovirus, um, and you could just see on Google just all these news stories. What you need to know about HMPV is China sees rising cases. What to know about China's human metanumovirus cases. First metanumovirus cases confirmed surging in China. Surprised by reports of HMPV surge. What we know, what is it? You know, a lot of kind of fear-mongering stuff, and all these are, you know, two days ago, two hours ago, 11 hours ago, all over the news. So what is human metanumovirus? Well, human metanumovirus is a respiratory virus. Uh, it's found all throughout the world. You know, it's in the same category as respiratory syncytial virus. You know, lots of different uh, upper respiratory viruses. It is part of the pneumoviridae family. This is the same family of a respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, which is one you might have heard of. It was discovered back in 2001 and has circulated, honestly, every single year since then. It most often causes upper respiratory infections. You know, usually the upper respiratory infections are not that serious, but it can cause lower respiratory infections, such as pneumonia, right? And it can be serious, especially for people who are old, comorbid, immunosuppressed, comorbid, uh, we didn't even spell it in a way you could read, immunosuppressed, infants, um, or other people at increased risk for any severe disease, whether it's from human metanumovirus, RSV, influenza, uh, COVID, you know, all these, the risk factor profile is somewhat similar. But this is not a new virus. This is a virus that has been around. It has circulated every year. It's in a family of a virus we know. Um, and we have had tons of peaks in the winter, as well as many other respiratory viruses, um, similar to human metanumovirus. We actually just pulled up the weekly percent positive for human metanumovirus from 2020 to 2024, HMPV. Um, and it's nationally, this is in the USA, because we wanted to show y'all that uh, human metanumovirus circles, circulates in the USA um, pretty much every single year, right? So you can see 2020, big peak. This was COVID. It was much lower during COVID. We saw much lower rates of many things during COVID, flu, RSV, human metanumovirus, all these were much lower during COVID. Uh, and then after kind of COVID uh, broke, we saw peaks again, human metanumovirus peak in the winter, peak in the winter. This is 2024, peak in the winter. We're seeing kind of a little peak here again, and this will probably keep going up in the United States because again, we get kind of this winter spring surge 
of respiratory viruses we talked about on the page, um, flu, RSV, and all that in a previous video. Again, check it out on the video page if you're interested in that. But human meningovirus is another one of these viruses. So other than COVID, we've seen surges of this virus in the winter. Um, and it's something that is not new, found all over, usually causes mild disease unless you're higher risk, in which case any of these respiratory viruses can kind of wreak havoc on you. So then what are the clinical features? What kind of disease does it cause? What well, causes what we would consider kind of generic upper respiratory viral syndrome, right? You get things like nasal congestion, cough, fever, shortness of breath if you're getting sicker. These are kind of generic symptoms that could be anything. It could be COVID, it could be flu, it could be RSV, it could be human metanuma virus, it could be one of a bunch of other different respiratory viruses. Um, so they're kind of these generic um, uh, URI symptoms. Again, it can, if you are higher risk, cause severe disease. Um, it can make you very, very sick. We're not at all minimizing that. Uh, for those at risk, you should take precautions. Um, but we, what we are trying to say is that it causes similar disease pathologies to a lot of the respiratory viruses um, uh, as a way to kind of help categorize in our brains this virus compared to all the other things going on. Uh, the incubation period is three to six days. This is pretty generic as well. So if you're exposed to it, you can expect to develop symptoms within three to six days if you did catch it. Uh, and it's transmitted similar to, again, many respiratory viruses, secretions. You get coughed on, you get sneezed on, someone's breathing in your face heavily, uh, you can catch it. Someone sneezes on your door handle, you touch the door handle, you put the fingers in your mouth, you could get it. Someone touches a railing and their hands all covered with their secretions, then you touch the railing and you rub your eyeballs, you can get it. So good hand hygiene, uh, if you believe in masks, masks, um, you know, washing hands, washing surfaces, not touching your face, all those things are how you prevent human metanumavirus, just like it's how you prevent influenza or respiratory syncytial virus or COVID. Starting to see some of the overlap here. Yes. All right. So then what's the situation? Is, you know, China seeing some surge of some new variant of human metanumavirus or something else that we're concerned about? This is from the World Health Organization. All right. Um, so they essentially said, according to the most recent surveillance data on acute respiratory infection shared by the China CDC, and again, we acknowledge that China CDC may not be sharing everything, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All we can do, though, is function within the confines of what we know, and this is what we know. This is through December 29th. There is an upward trend of common acute respiratory infections, seasonal influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, human metanumovirus, uh, and it is expected for this time of year in the Northern Hemisphere. We're seeing in the USA, seeing it in Canada. Uh, our hospital has actually been absolutely just overrun with respiratory infections. This is a common thing all over the normal hemisphere. They actually say that influenza is currently the most reported cause of respiratory disease in China. So it's not even human metanumovirus. Uh, influenza is causing most of the disease currently. Uh, highest positivity rate for all age groups except children. Uh, 5 to 14 year olds, mycoplasma pneumonia, um, which is something we can cover if people are interested, uh, is higher. Um, uh, COVID activity remains low in China, although there have been an increase in severe cases. Predominant circulating COVID variant, which is beyond the level of this uh, lecture, is XDV, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they then go on to say that China's reported levels of acute respiratory infection, including human metanumavirus, are within the expected range for the winter season, with no unusual outbreak patterns reported. Chinese authorities confirmed that the healthcare system is not overwhelmed. Hospital utilization is currently lower than this time last year. And there have been no emergency dec declarations or responses triggered. So, of course, given everything with COVID, we have uh, concern when we start to see outbreaks of diseases in China. That's totally reasonable. But human metanumovirus, just like any virus, it certainly could mutate. It could cause a problem in the future. But it doesn't seem like things are out of the ordinary for a normal kind of winter surge, similar to the ones we see in the United States. Uh, when it comes to human metanumovirus in China. So we'll keep our eyes keep our eyes on it. Um, things can happen with viruses, things can mutate, things can change. Uh, so we're not totally dismissing everything, but we are saying um, that it seems like this is a normal, typical winter surge. They're actually seeing more influenza than human metanumovirus. We see human metanumovirus in the U.S. as well. Uh, it circulates every single winter. So at this point, we don't see anything to be concerned about would be our our kind of thoughts and analysis. Take it for what, take it for what you, what you, uh, grain of salt, take it for what it's worth, whatever the phrase is. In any case,
Stay well, keep learning, let us know what thoughts, questions you have down below. Let us know if you agree, if you disagree, if you have any additional information. Subscribe, hit the bell button, check out the Patreon page. We'll keep an eye on all this stuff and give you updates as needed. Uh, we appreciate you all. Stay well, keep learning. We'll see you next time.